previously on Nasbacker. We're just looking at a rhino. everything up just one last small morning hike to check out the view again now before leaving Spitzkope we made sure to drop by that woman who asked us for our food on our way in oh really got you some rice with yes. tissue and a milk Lovely. yeah thank you so much all right a pleasure. Good luck. thank you bye-bye bye-bye bye. the whole trip this is your best friend protecting you against the sun. Oh, here, you see, back. Make sure you got this one. Now, before heading for a tour we booked, we decided to pass by June 7 to kill time by riding some quad bikes. Oh my God, oh my God. The quad was so, it was amazing, amazing man. Amazing. amazing. Basically, we came here to kill time, not expecting anything. And honestly, this is much, much better than what we what we used to. Beyond expectation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely incredible. So I really recommend you can come do the quad at Dune 7. We are actually here at Wolfish Bay, Namibia. Welcome. Thank you. My name is Mariana Lambert, but my show name is Blondie. I'm gonna give you a few clicks. Nice. <laughs> you have to say something. I'm going to teach you something. Four main clicks. Wind, elephant, blue, spoon. I'm going to say it in my language and you're going to say it in English. Elephant. Twa. Wind. Twa. Blue. Twa. Spoon. Twa. So, and let's go to the club. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> go. Are you awake? Enjoy hey. your stay. Thank Mariana Blondie. It's hard to call her. Name be a Look at him. Always lagging in the back. Yalla, you're yalla. Vamos, vamos. Are oh, you always late, man? We then joined our guide, Rami. Rami was explaining us how we didn't get a single tourist in nine months. Before COVID-19, tourism was a top source of tax income for the government. He took us first to a dune where we can get a view of the salt mine where 1 million ton is extracted yearly. They export it mainly to the other countries of Southern Africa, but also to other nations of the world, such as the United States. One of the crazy phenomenon it creates is that the water becomes pink. So you get a pink river and a pink lake. Namibia's dialect falls very close to that of the Cape Town area. Pretty close to Dutch, right? The main ingredient is Dutch. Because Afrikaans started way back 1652. Yeah. They started the Cape of Good Hope and the castle and the trading route. Afrikaans was once known as the kitchen language. That's where it originated. It was in the kitchens in the in the castle in Cape Town. Okay. So it was your your slaves and then your Dutch people. They had to find a way to speak to each other and then understand Dutch easily. Um, the Amsterdam accent is extremely difficult to understand. You understand your Belgian people. Ah, the Flemish. Almost per Flemish, Flemish, almost perfectly. Okay. Look at this. Not a single soul. 
In addition to getting very interesting information, the main reason we got a guide was because the area is very difficult to drive. It seems easy but it is very treacherous with lots of quicksand areas that are only known to locals. Besides, the speed at which the high tide was coming was very impressive. Soon enough, we were sandwiched between the high sand dunes on our left side and the ocean waves on our right side. <laughs> and that's exactly at this point that we realize how crazy it would have been to do it by ourselves. Oh, but I forgot to tell you, but if you stop even for a second, you get attacked by millions of small flies. Hey, you! Are you still watching this video? In that case, take a break and click on that subscribe button for me, would you? We then had a lot of fun going up and down the dunes until we reached an area where we had an amazing vantage point over the ocean. So now we are in Sandwich Harbor and since we're very lucky as, as usual there are actually oryxes there huge oryxes Oh yeah Definitely one of the best countries I've ever visited. I mean, we've seen so many things everywhere, and uh, we got lucky. We got lucky for every single, every single day. I mean, the seals and now oryxes in the dunes. It's it's <laughs> absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Hey, I'm looking for a taxi. Where are you guys going? Back there? Yeah, that's, that's exactly north. That's exactly where I need to go. Thank you very much. All right. After such an amazing day, we we're slowly driving back to the city. The views of the sunset were just incredible. As if this wasn't incredible enough, we got to see dozens of flamingos hanging out by the beach on the sunset.
there might be some dangerous things, but uh, we need to explore. 